Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Manny Machado celebrates after hitting a home run during the first inning against the against the Atlanta Braves in Game 2 of the 2018 NLDS at Dodger Stadium. Richard Maxson, USA Today Sports, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, free agent infielder Manny Machado has met in recent days with at least one unidentified suitor, according to Major League sources. There are at least two mystery teams pursuing Machado, in addition to the Phillies and White Sox. Additionally, the Yankees have kept an open line of communication with Machado's camp, even after signing infielder DJ. Lemieux, sources say, this does not necessarily indicate that New York is truly in on Machado, in fact, it remains unlikely they sign him. The Yankees aren't out, and won't be until Machado chooses a team. The Atlanta Braves have also checked in on Machado, but are not believed to be serious suitors. Related, latest on Yankees target Manny Machado, All-Star will go to highest bidder greater than greater than read more related, why comment by Machado's father may be good thing for Yankees, Mets greater than greater than read more Martino, could Nolan Arenado be Yankees real third base target. Greater than greater than read more September 30, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies third baseman Nolan Arenado, 28, takes a basis on balls walk in the eighth inning against the Washington Nationals at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Ron Chinoy USA Today Sports, Ron Chinoy, with the Yankees' potential interest in Nolan Arnato over Manny Machado, as reported by SNY's Andy Martino, it begs the question, which third baseman would you rather have? Arnato and Machado are both similar players, and the Yankees also have a pretty good up-and-coming third baseman already on their roster in Miguel Andujar, let's break it down, New York Yankees starting pitcher, Sonny Gray delivers a pitch during the first inning of a baseball game against the Baltimore Orioles, Friday, June 1, 2018, in Baltimore. AP photo, Nick was his AP, the Yankees appear to be getting closer to trading Sonny Gray, the Reds are making progress on acquiring the right-hander, Sneedy V's Andy Martino confirmed. The Giants and Padres are also talking to the Yankees about Gray, fan creds John Heyman reports that the deal could be made for two prospects in a draft pick by the end of the weekend and that either second base prospect Shed Long or catching prospect Tyler Stevenson could be involved. Peter Aiken, when Troy Tulowitzki was released by the Blue Jays back in December, it appeared his MLB career was coming to a close. He hadn't seen a diamond in the bigs since July 28, 2017, as recovery from heel surgery wasn't the eight weeks the Blue Jays thought it would be, but then there was his open showcase at Long Beach State in December that changed that narrative. Being a five-time All-Star normally piques the interest of MLB front offices, but Tulowitzki's work out at his alma mater opened some eyes to the point where offers were put on the table. And Long Beach State head coach Troy Buckley, who helped conduct the workout, knows exactly why. The Yankees have been in pursuit of free agent 3B, SS Manny Machado, who is reportedly looking for a deal that will pay him roughly $300 million over 10 years. Here are the latest rumors, January 18, 1020 p.m., Machado met personally with at least one of the unidentified teams in recent days, reports Sneet TV's Andy Martino. The All-Star will go to the highest bidder, period, says Martino, Anthony McCarron, SNY.TV, Twitter, Mel Zitter is already thinking about summer nights at Yankee Stadium, watching two of his former pupils working in the bullpen, wearing pinstripes. That's going to be a trip, Zitter says, chuckling. It should be a point of pride for Zitter, since he runs youth service, the Brooklyn Sandlot Club that new Yankee teammates Dylan Betances and Adam Adovino both pitched for in the mid-2000s. Jane Kamin Wunsa, John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, maybe Alex Cora was simply playing to the crowd at the Boston Baseball Writers Dinner Thursday night. But suffice it to say he didn't seem concerned that the Yankees have just added another weapon, Adam Ottavino, to the best bullpen in baseball, somebody might write this, I don't care, Cora said upon receiving his Al Manager of the Year award. If you guys thought last year was special, wait till this year, will Yankees get Nolan Arenado? 0 hours 0 minutes and 48 seconds SNY Baseball Insider Andy Martino has sources telling him the New York Yankees may trade for Nolan Arenado instead of signing Manny Machado. 
Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, earlier this week, after I published my 9 millionth story of the offseason about the Yankees and Manny Machado, a major league source reached out with a suggestion, don't sleep on the Yanks and Colorado third baseman Nolan Arenado. Certainly, there's been smoke there already. Back in December, WFAN Sweeney Murdy wrote about how Aronado would fit the Yankees, and on Friday morning, MLB Network's Ken Rosenthal made passing reference to the possibility on the hot stove. Morning Show, October 3, 2018, Los Angeles, California, USA, Los Angeles Dodgers infielder Manny Machado waits for his turn in the batting cage prior to Game 1 of the 2018 NLDS Playoff Baseball Series at Dodger Stadium. Mandatory credit, Robert Hanashiro USA Today Sports, Robert Hanashiro, Manny Machado's dad is adding some more intrigue to his son's free agency, we know Machado has at least been offered a 7 or 8 year deal by the White Sox, but the elder Machado told Hector Gomez of Z101 Digital on Friday that the Phillies, Yankees and even Dodgers have all made offers to his son, and while the White Sox appear to be the strongest suitor, Manuel hinted his son could still sign elsewhere. Colorado Rockies relief pitcher Adam Ottavino pitches against the Pittsburgh Pirates during the ninth inning at PNC Park. Charles Leclerc, USA Today Sports, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives The Yankees will be adding another elite arm to an already dominant bullpen, giving the club a certain advantage over virtually the entire league. New York and free agent right-handed reliever Adam Ottavino agreed to a three-year, $27 million deal on Thursday, SNY.TV, as Andy Martino confirmed. April 24, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees manager Aaron Boone, 17, takes the ball from New York Yankees relief pitcher Dellen Bettens, 68, in the seventh inning against the Minnesota Twins at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Noah K. Murray USA Today Sports, Noah K. Murray, the use of an opener, in Major League Baseball is a polarizing topic. Fans either love it, or hate it. With more and more teams experimenting with the idea after Kevin Cash and the Tampa Bay Rays saw successful results, it's reasonable to think the New York Yankees could be the next club to start a relief pitcher on the mound. For one, they've already done it. Right-handed reliever Jonathan Holder started, coincidentally, against the Rays on Sept. 24 He pitched one inning before handing the baton to Stephen Tarpley, Sonny Gray, Chad Green, David Robertson, Aroldis Chapman, Dylan Bettences and, finally, Zach Britton to cap the game. Given, the Rays were nine games behind the Yankees with no shot of overtaking New York for the wildcard spot. So the stakes to use an opener were low. The point is, eight relievers and a 4-1 win later, it worked. October 26, 2018, Los Angeles, California, USA, Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Manny Machado, 8, hits a single in the sixth inning against the Boston Red Sox in Game 3 of the 2018 World Series at Dodger Stadium. Mandatory credit, Jane Kameen wants a USA Today Sports, Jane Kameen wants a Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, the exact terms of the Chicago White Sox offer to Manny Machado are not known, you might have. Noticed some drama about that topic Wednesday, but some new details of their discussions could offer a roadmap to the Yankees, if they want to jump back into the Machado sweepstakes. The sides have at least discussed a contract structure that would allow Chicago to exercise an option after year three that would trigger team control for an eighth or ninth year, according to Major League sources. This probably accounts for some of the confusion over whether Machado has a 7 or 8 year offer on the table. He has likely been offered a contract that could be either. In that structure, Machado would get to opt out after 2021 if the team doesn't opt in. The Yankees and Zach Britton recently agreed to that structure, which Britton's agent Scott Boras called a swell opt in an interview with Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic. New York Yankees starting pitcher Sonny Gray delivers a pitch during the first inning of a baseball game against the Baltimore Orioles, Friday, June 1, 2018, in Baltimore. AP photo, Nick was his AP, while the Yankees are making trades that may be surprising fans this offseason, there's still an expected deal remaining.
The Yankees are getting closer to trading Sonny Gray, according to a report from FanCred's John Heyman. In addition to Gray, teams are also asking about Tommy Canely and Jonathan Holder. Per Heyman, things were ramping up in talk centering around Gray since CC Sabathia was given clearance to pitch. Heyman also recently reported at least six teams are interested in the right-hander, which includes the Reds, Padres, Brewers, A's, Mariners and Braves. Yankees signed with Adam Adovino 0 hours 0 minutes and 39 seconds SNY baseball insider Andy Martino likes the Yankees signing of Adam Adovino, here's how he thinks it will impact their alley's chances. The Yankees are closing in on a three-year deal with free agent reliever Adam Adovino, SNY's Andy Martino confirmed. The deal will be worth $27 million over three years. Ottavino is coming off a huge season where he had a 2.43 era, 2.7, 4 FIP, and 112 strikeouts in 77.2 innings, or a 13K, 9 ratio and did it while pitching his home games hitter friendly Coors Field with the Rockies. His 0.99 whip in 2018 was much improved from a 1.63 whip with a 5.06 era in 2017. New York Yankees designated hitter fielder Clint Frazier doubles during the seventh inning at Kauffman Stadium. Peter Aiken, USA Today Sports, Yankees outfielder Clint Frazier tweeted he has been cleared for spring training and hopes to win a spot on the Major League roster after he missed most of the 2018 season due to concussion-like symptoms. Why aren't Yankees spending? Zero hours, zero minutes and 33 seconds Sweeney Moody goes in depth as to why he believes the Yankees are being cautious about spending money on Bryce Harper and Manny Machado. Yankees fans have been a bit confused this offseason, as GM Brian Cashman has been relatively quiet with the moves he has made. Instead of spending on players like Bryce Harper and Manny Machado, he has instead signed names like Troy Tulowitzki and DJ Lemayu to fill in the gaps. Normally, New York is the team that goes after the big shots on the market, but why hasn't that been the case this offseason? Sweeney Moody explains how the Yankees' recent success these past two seasons has kept Cashman's checkbook in his pocket instead of hashing out the big deals. September 15, 2018, San Francisco, California, USA, Colorado Rockies infielder DJ Lemieux, 9, looks to throw the ball during the seventh inning against the San Francisco Giants at it. Mandatory credit, Keel Maddox USA Today Sports, Keel Maddox, newest Yankees infielder DJ Lemieux was introduced on Wednesday during a conference call with the press. The three-time Gold Glove Award winner agreed to a two-year deal with the Yankees on Friday. Here's what we learned about the All-Star's upcoming role in the Bronx. All signs point to Lemayu serving as a super utility man. The possibility of Lemayu playing in multiple positions for the Yankees next season is high. New York told the infield to bring a lot of gloves to spring training, according to the Athletics' Lindsay Adler. Although Lemayu has only patrolled second base since 2015, he said he's comfortable playing shortstop, which will aid the Yankees while Didi Gregorius recovers from surgery. March 11, 2018, New York, New York, USA, a general view of Yankee Stadium before the game between the New York City and the Los Angeles Galaxy. Mandatory credit, Vincent Carchietta USA Today Sports, Vincent Carchietta, the Yankees made a trade with the Diamondbacks on Wednesday, acquiring LHP Ronald Roman and cash considerations in exchange for minor league of Tim LaCastro, per MLB Network's Mark Feinson. New York designated LaCastro for assignment earlier this week to make room for DJ Lemieux, and instead of letting him walk, they were able to get a return. Roman is a 17-year-old Dominican Republic product the D-backs acquired as an international signee last year. Roman has yet to play a professional game, while LaCastro has been playing in the minors since 2013 when he was drafted by the Blue Jays. In AAA last season he owned a .279 average with 4 homers and 25 RBI. Chris Carelli, SNY, TV, Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives, Manny Machado was supposed to help the Yankees surpass the Red Sox. He's apparently not coming, and neither is Bryce Harper, so the Yanks should double down on their strongest facet, the bullpen.
If the Yankees want to measure up to the Red Sox, they must possess an advantage somewhere on the roster that unequivocally distances the World Series champs. Adding one more elite reliever, like Adam Adovino, should make it next to impossible for the Red Sox to catch the Yankees in that department even if Boston re-signs Craig Kimbrell. Boston arguably has a slight edge in the rotation and the offenses are quite similar in strength but the overall scale could tip toward New York if the Yanks add to an already dominant bullpen. Much has been made about the Yankees coming up short in the offseason if they're unable to secure Machado or Harper. Expectations were high that one of the two 26-year-old stars would become part of the Yankees after the team reset their luxury tax rate. Adding Machado or Harper would have clearly pushed the Yanks' offense ahead of Boston's. October 7, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies second baseman DJ Lemieux, 9, hits a double during the third inning against the Milwaukee Brewers in Game 3 of the 2018 NLDS Playoff Baseball Series at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Russell Lansford USA Today Sports, Russell Lansford, it's not just his gold glove the Yankees like about DJ Lemieux. The Yankees' internal data suggested Lemieux was undervalued offensively, according to Ken Rosenthal of The Athletic. His elite defense and superior makeup are bonuses for New York, which signed the former Colorado Rocky to a two-year, $24 million contract. March 11, 2018, New York, New York, USA, a general view of Yankee Stadium before the game between the New York City and the Los Angeles Galaxy. Mandatory credit, Vincent Carchietta USA Today Sports, Vincent Carchietta, former New York Yankees closer and Texas Rangers Hall of Fame pitcher John Wetteland was arrested on Monday on a child sex abuse charge in Texas. The Dallas Morning News was the first to report the arrest. Wetteland, 52, is accused of continuous sexual abuse of a child under the age of 14, according to Denton County Jail Records. He posted a $25,000 bond and was released from custody on Monday, the same day as his arrest. New York Yankees former player Mel Stottlemyre is introduced during the 66th annual Old Timers Day game at Yankee Stadium. Brad Penner U.S. Press Wire, John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, Mel Stottlemyre always seemed to be at peace with the fact that he came along at the wrong time in Yankee history, an all-star pitcher on many bad teams during one of the longest championship droughts the franchise has ever known. I was always too blessed to think of it that way, Stottlemyre told me once. Even after being diagnosed with multiple myeloma, the blood cancer that he succumbed to on Monday at age 77, Stottlemyre had the relentlessly positive outlook of a man who was grateful for his lot in life, as a major league player and then coach with five world championship rings. Harper, McCarran share half boats, 0 hours 0 minutes and 54 seconds SNY's John Harper and Anthony McCarran debate their votes on whether Barry Bonds and Roger Clemens should be enshrined in Cooperstown. John Harper, SNY.TV, Twitter, even with four newly elected Hall of Famers off the ballot, and my auntie Ped stance firmly in place regarding Barry Bonds or Roger Clemens, I still voted for 10 players this year, the sixth straight time I've used the maximum number of spots allowed, so I guess I'm officially a big hall guy now, after years of thinking small hall was the way to go. And I'm okay with that, not that I'm good with Harold Baines being elected by a 16-person committee in December, but I do believe that for years baseball writers as a whole tended to take too much pride in making the Hall of Fame more exclusive than those in other sports, at the expense of rewarding excellence, New York Yankees pitcher CC Sabathia throws the ball during workouts one day before the 2018 American League wildcard game at Yankee Stadium. Danielle Parr his current slash NorthJersey.com via USA Today Sports, Yankees LHPCC Sabathia was just having a catch with teammate Dylan Bettences when he began to feel shortness of breath. He knew something was up. For me, Sabathia told Yes Network's Ryan Ruaco, normally, I can run, swim, do whatever, elliptical for however long. My cardio's normally really good. 
Sabathia for me to have shortness of breath playing catch, I knew something was up, the 38-year-old Sabathia would undergo an angioplasty to clear a blocked artery in December, a heart procedure he is expected to recover fully from. Mariano Rivera pitched a scoreless ninth inning. AP Anthony McCarran, SNY.TV, Twitter, let's start the discussion of my 2019 ballot for the Baseball Hall of Fame with an easy one, Mariano Rivera, the greatest closer in history, gets my vote en route to enshrinement, any objections? No, that won't last long, Mel Stottlemyre passes away 0 hours 0 minutes and 58 seconds SNY's John Harper and Anthony McCarran reflect on the life and legacy of Mel Stottlemyre. Former Yankees and Mets pitching coach Mel Stottlemyre died at age of 77 at his home in Seattle on Sunday night, as first reported by Bill Madden of the New York Daily News, Stottlemyre had endured a long battle with bone marrow cancer, he won a World Series as Mets pitching coach. In 1986 and won four World Series as pitching coach for the Yankees from their title run between 1996 to 2000, Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Manny Machado celebrates after hitting a home run during the first inning against the against the Atlanta Braves in Game 2 of the 2018 NLDS at Dodger Stadium. Richard Maxson, USA Today Sports, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, for months, it's been clear through sources that while the Yankees like Manny Machado as a player, they don't plan on outbidding aggressive teams like the Phillies and White Sox. Now, word comes from a person with direct knowledge of Machado's thinking that he plans to choose the team that makes the highest offer. In most cases, this would be about as stunning as source, Sun will set this evening, September 1, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees shortstop Glaber Torres, 25, is congratulated after hitting a two-run home run against the Detroit Tigers during the fifth inning at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Andy Marlin USA Today Sports, Andy Marlin, with the addition of DJ Lemieux, the Yankees now have two of the top 10 second basemen in baseball, at least according to MLB Network's top 10 second basemen right now, show. Glaber Torres, number 8, and Lemieux, number 10, made the list. The full list, in order. October 8, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees starting pitcher Luis Severino, 40, reacts after being relieved in the fourth inning against the Boston Red Sox in Game 3 of the 2018 ALDS Playoff Baseball Series at Yankee Stadium. Mandatory credit, Adam Hunger USA Today Sports, Adam Hunger, with the deadline for teams to exchange numbers with players who are arbitration eligible passed on Friday, the Yankees had nine players to strike deals with. And all but one settled. Yankees RHP Luis Severino will enter arbitration as both sides couldn't come to terms. Severino, who made $604,975 last season, is projected to make $5.1 million in arbitration. But Severino didn't help himself with a rough second half of his 2018 season. This will be Severino's first year in arbitration, so the process will be new to him. It also may be new to some Yankees fans depending on if you followed Dellen Benz's rough hearing back in 2017, September 15, 2018, San Francisco, California, USA, Colorado Rockies infielder DJ Lemieux, 9, looks to throw the ball during the seventh inning against the San Francisco Giants at it. Mandatory credit, Keel Maddox USA Today Sports, Keel Maddox, Chris Carelli, SNY, TV Facebook, Twitter, About Me, Archives, the Yankees came to an agreement with a gold glove infielder Friday afternoon, but it wasn't Manny Machado. The Yankees appear to have strayed even further away from Machado, agreeing to a two-year, $24 million contract with DJ Lemieux according to reports in confirmed by SneeTV's Andy Martino. Lemieux, 30, is contact hitter who owns a career .298 average with a .350 on base percentage and .406 slugging percentage. Lemieux does possess home, road splits that favor hitter-friendly Coors Field, but his approach at the plate could still translate well in New York. October 8, 2018, Bronx, NY, USA, New York Yankees starting pitcher Luis Severino, 40, reacts after being relieved in the fourth inning against the Boston Red Sox in Game 3 of the 2018 ALDS Playoff Baseball Series at Yankee Stadium.
Mandatory credit, Adam Hunger USA Today Sports Adam Hunger, Friday is the deadline for teams to exchange numbers with players who are arbitration eligible. If a deal is not agreed upon they must schedule a hearing next month in front of a panel of arbitrators to determine that player salary for the 2019 season. Teams that do not reach deals could still negotiate up until the hearing date on a one-year contract or multi-year extension. October 7, 2018, Denver, Colorado, USA, Colorado Rockies second baseman DJ Lemieux, 9, hits a double during the third inning against the Milwaukee Brewers in Game 3 of the 2018 NLDS Playoff Baseball Series at Coors Field. Mandatory credit, Russell Lansford USA Today Sports, Russell Lansford, the Yankees are close to signing another infielder, DJ. Lemieux, SNY's Andy Martino has confirmed that Lemieux has agreed to a two-year deal with the Yankees, pending physical, the deal for the infielder likely pulls the Yankees out of the Manny Machado sweepstakes, but Martino reports that is not a certainty, yet, New York Yankees relief pitcher Zach Britton pitches during the fourth inning against the Boston Red Sox in Game 4 of the 2018 ALDS at Yankee Stadium. Brad Penner, USA Today Sports The Yankees announced they resigned LHP Zach Britton to a three-year, $39 million deal with a team option that also includes an opt-out clause. New York must exercise or decline its fourth-year option for the 2022 season after the second season of Britton's contract. If the Yankees decline Britain's fourth-year team option, then Britton has the ability to opt out and become a free agent prior to the 2021 season. Britain will earn $13 million in each of the first three years of his contract. The fourth-year team option is worth $14 million. Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Manny Machado celebrates after hitting a home run during the first inning against the against the Atlanta Braves in Game 2 of the 2018 NLDS at Dodger Stadium. Richard Maxson, USA Today Sports, Andy Martino, SNY.TV, Twitter, it's come to this, the final lingering hope for Yankee fans who want free agent Manny Machado is that Brian Cashman will pull one of his stealth strikes, swoop in with a late offer and shock us all with news out of nowhere. At this point, that's probably the only way Machado becomes a Yankee. The Yanks haven't engaged Machado's camp much in the new year, according to multiple major league sources. Plus, they haven't made an offer yet. Plus, they signed another guy and told him that he was their shortstop. Plus, as we reported way back in October, they've been lukewarm in Machado's free agency all along. October 3, 2018, Los Angeles, California, USA, Los Angeles Dodgers infielder Manny Machado waits for his turn in the batting cage prior to Game 1 of the 2018 NLDS Playoff Baseball Series at Dodger Stadium. Mandatory credit, Robert Hanashiro USA Today Sports, Robert Hanashiro, the Yankees, clearly in need of outside help in order to add more stars to their payroll, can thank one fan for helping them raise, so far, $87 toward a $300 million goal to help them sign free agent Manny Machado, Joshua Anderson started the GoFundMe page on Jan. 9 with the hope that the Yanks, who are not the favorites to snag Machado, will get him, help Hal Steinbrenner sign Manny Machado, the page reads up top followed by this blurb. Los Angeles Dodgers shortstop Manny Machado hits an RBI double during the ninth inning against the Air.